previously on The Hunter, Call of the Wild. We started off our journey in our last episode, taking out the ever-elusive tutorial doe with a shot to the chest that we thought might have done her in, but we ended up having to put chase and ended up actually having to put another shot into her to take her down. Finally, having the doe down on the ground, we were able to harvest the one of the two does that we were able to get in our last episode. We did take other shots, but with without hitting vital organs and poor shot placement, both of the other deer that were shot in the video were unable to be found and gathered. So, we ended up salvaging what we could, taking out our second doe of the episode and placing the shot we thought were right behind the shoulder, but we ended up putting another shot into the doe just as it retreated into the wood line and took that one down as well. Completing a couple of missions and getting our feet wet in this new game and new series. With shaving some of the green newbie crust off of our shoulders, we are ready to jump in to episode two and continue our adventure, our hunt in the series, The Hunter Call of the Wild. Hello everyone and welcome back to APN Gaming and welcome back to our rainy hunter call of the wild episode 2. So, we got some stuff to do. Our mission right now, our story mission is to travel to Hope's camp and we got a waypoint on that I believe. Hold on, let me zoom out here. Yes, it's right up over here. So we're going to do that. We're going to, I think we're going to walk there just to see if we come across anything for something to hunt. Thirty-seven nineteen for money. And let's take a look in here because, as I said on the last episode, we have some guns that we can buy. I, I don't for the life of me understand why we already have the 270 purchased it doesn't even say it's unlocked i don't understand i don't understand that we do have some other guns in here that we have access to because of the dlc and all of these are free so we're gonna go ahead and buy this some might say this is cheating and i would say that too <laughs> I, I would definitely say that it's it's kind of cheating. It feels like it a little bit. Uh, and some of the stuff we are not going to use right away. We might as well buy all of these just so we have, you know, access to them eventually. But if we have the 270 already unlocked, which, I like I said, I don't understand why, then we'll probably equip that. Okay, that one's free. We have a 20 gauge here that's all free because it came with DLC. That's free as well. So is that. So is that. So we're going to have access to all these guns and start using them eventually. And we have access to all these crossbows here. These are all from DLCs and we have recurve bows. So... Rifle ammo. Seeing as how we do have the 270, the 270 is probably going to be better. Eh, not really. The 270 definitely is a higher caliber gun. But we do have the 30 out 6 too. And I don't know why I'm refusing to use it, but. I am. Technically the 30-06 is not supposed to be used for deer. But it can be used for bigger game. So we're going to wait on the 30-06 for now. What we really want is a 7mm eventually. A little bit more versatile, but it's still for, you know, bigger game. 
And the 30 out 6 does have better penetrating power, especially with the polymer tips. Oh boy. But I think we're going to stick with the 243 right now. I think. <laughs> I really want to, uh. I really want to, uh. Use a 30 out 6. I think we're going to compromise and we'll use the 270 that I have no idea why it's unlocked, but it is. So we have the Ranger 243. I believe we have. We're going to move the 357 back over and the 12 gauge for now. We're going to equip the 270. I think everything else is going to wait for now. 270 soft point bullets we're going to need. Do we have polymers for the 243? No, and I don't know if we have those unlocked yet. Let's move these over because we don't need those right now. We don't need the roe deer collar. We can keep the other one. See, we have all of these decoys available for us and fast travel tents and all kinds of deer stands and tripods as well by DLCs. Um, yeah, we'll keep the jackrabbit collar for now. The only thing I want to check on is to see if we have 243 polymer tips. I don't think we did, if I remember right. Rifle ammo, 243 polymer tips. Nope, but we are close. We're close. So we'll use the 270 pretty much for now. We got to go in here and do our inventory. So we'll move the 270 below that. The Ranger's already on there. Oop. Ammo. We got 270 ammo needs to be equipped. And sights. We'll put this on our 270 as well. We will move this up here. Like I said, I have no idea why the 270 is unlocked. I don't know if it has something to do with my other account, but I wouldn't think so. Oops, I just messed that up. It should be two separate accounts. It shouldn't have anything, you know, like that transferring over, but for whatever reason, the 270 is unlocked. If anybody knows, leave a comment down below. Oh. Okay, so it says this is a premium engraved variation of the 270 Huntsman. Was unlocked but for the community by players participating in the 2017 holiday event. Okay. I didn't remember participating in the holiday event, but maybe that doesn't include me. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. But we got it. We have it to use. We're going to use it. We're leaving the 30 out 6 for now. I know. I want to use it, but we will. We will. We'll use it soon. Okay, so we got to go to Hope's Camp. And that is. This is a tree stand down here, I know from my other server. So we're going to leave that for now. We're going to place that over there. And we're going to start. It's less than a mile. I think that's a little bit far fetched for. Wait, where's my HUD? So after determining and re-establishing our HUD in our corner, we decided to start our trek to Hope's Camp, spotting a few moose on the way that we decided the caliber gun that we were carrying really wasn't going to be helpful when it came to taking them down, especially at a long range. So we continued our trek across the marshy opening that we were about to come across making sure that we're trying to spot anything that we can, trying to move relatively slow so we don't alert anything that might be ahead of us that we can't see. After coming out of the long grass in the marshy area, we noticed something off in the distance and we spotted what was a bear over there and also a coyote. The bear at this time and at this range really wasn't something we could handle. Neither was the coyote, but we wondered if we could hunker down somewhere, if we could try to call in this coyote. So that's exactly what we did. After several minutes of calling to the coyote, we decided it's time to pull out and continue to move towards our objective. And of course, no longer than we got out of the tree and out of our hiding spot, the coyote would sound off, letting us know that he knew we were around as he had approached closer from our call. 
We continued to move up the hill and get a better vantage point and continue calling. Moving along the rock face, trying to get another a bead on the coyote, and once again, he hears us moving. So we determined that we probably ruined our chances at catching this coyote. So he still perched up on the wall on the rock, hoping that our previous call attempts where he had moved gradually towards us, that he would continue to do so. And of course, he did. But without us knowing, he approached us to our left and once again retreated into the woods, having spotted us, or at least heard us in that location. We decided to put chase to the coyote gradually to see if we could track this coyote down and claim something for this episode. So we continue our trek towards our objective, but also following this level six coyote trying to bring it in. Little did we know, he was bringing us towards even a bigger prize at a range that we could handle. Ooh, can we get this bear? I think it's running. Let's get up there. I'm hoping that was a spine shot. We did use the 270. So. It's a trade down from the coyote that we've been chasing, really. Because the coyote, I think, was a level 6, which would have been much better. But this bear was a level 2. It will give us something anyway. our bear tracks did we even hit the bear oh we did he's down right here oh yeah look at this this must have been our first shot vital organ hit high bleed rate and he dropped very close it's a silver we double lunged him right there. That's right where I aimed on him with a 270. Double lunged him. Silver. We're getting a thousand dollars. After this entire day of trying to call that coyote in, we come across this bear in a resting zone. We double lunged him with a perfect shot with a 270 at 80, almost 90 yards. And that is a beautiful catch for the day. Female, it's common, it's 203 pounds, it's a level 2 minor, but it's a wonderful harvest. Trophy rating of 14.5, we got a quick kill rate with a double lung shot, it dropped within like 3 yards of where we originally shot it, shot it. and we got a lot of XP, a lot of cash. We're going to save this harvest because it might be something that we taxidermy before long. It is a silver, it's decent, I'd like to to do gold and up but you know what a catch cash reward here we are right next to our objective for the day that bear yeah weapon score I believe now we'll fast travel back to yes we did we got the polymer tip for the 243 <clears throat> excuse me we did not shoot that bear with a 243. We you actually shot it Great. with. Uh, Snap some pictures for the record and see if they lead anywhere. We shot it with the 270 that we got from some holiday event, I guess. We got some lore unlocked here. We gotta track these. I am very satisfied with that catch for the day. Okay, so we got some tracks here. It wants us to follow them. Where's our phone? We're getting a warning call from a moose. I am very satisfied with that animal for the hunt. I was hoping to get more. 
And as the series progresses, we'll hopefully get more animals per video, but... I'm very satisfied after tracking... Ooh. As I said that, this would be a very, like, minor catch for the day. But if we can get... I think I'm going to wait for it to come in a little closer. If we can get a shot on this moose... It's not going to be a lot. It's a trivial. I don't know why it won't let me spot it right now. But... Yeah, we are going to get our rifle ready because it is coming right straight for us. If it turns broadside, we're going to have a much better opportunity to drop this moose with this 270. kind of lost in the brush there right now it's like stopped and eating <clears throat> I could try for a heart shot but that's gonna be a lot harder to get on this moose than a good double lunger broadside shot and this would just be the cherry on top of our hunting day after that beautiful bear, silver bear. It was a black bear, but it was a silver rank. Should specify. This moose is coming in. It's creeping in a little bit closer each time. I can kind of see it faintly through the brush. If it would just come just a tiny bit more. Sometimes you can get it to kind of perk up with a bleak collar. I've noticed. I mean, if we lose this, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But if we can just budget just a tiny bit. It's still hanging out somewhere in that brush. I don't know if I can spot it with my Barnox or not. See, I thought it was still up in here, but it's like it's spotting. It's like it's saying it's right in here. I don't have the best of angles. Somewhere within this thick brush. I'm gonna try to move to my right a little bit. Very carefully. If I can just get a frame of it at all, even if it's if it's still there. I didn't see it move, but right now I can't even like see an outline of it at all. Could have got spooked and maybe followed that brush and gone up over that way, but I didn't not I didn't see it, so once again this moose would just be a constellation prize, really. It's it's a low level, it's not gonna give us much in XP or money, but it must have moved out. I don't see it all in here. Is that it? Is she laying down? Yes, she is. 
Okay, so we got her right there still. I think we're kind of out of... Oops, I've gotten the camera not by now. Oh boy, come on. It's gonna be gone before I get my knocks out here. I'm guessing this might be a resting area for Moose. I don't know why I won't spot her. Let's see if I can move up over here and up on that hill. I might be able to get a good downward shot on her. I'm not gonna spook her with the wind. I just don't want to make too much noise moving. She's still right there. I love how it says spot animal, like when I zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna crawl. If I can get a good broadside shot on her. your head. I just need to get a little bit further over. I don't know if I'm going to get... Oh, where did it go here? I don't know if I'm going to get much more of a better shot than that right there. Not without spooking her. Here goes nothing. She did run up that way. That was with the 270 as well. Jig is up. I don't want to run too far after her because... Where was she laying down? It must be right in here somewhere. Ah, right there. Oh yeah, that's a sizable blood trail. And there's our coyote that we tried to get for so long. So yeah, vital organs hit. That Getting that broadside shot was definitely worth it right there. Keep track of where the and wind is blowing. This is going to be will pick up your the cherry on the cake for us. From you. This is going to be the cherry on the cake of our day. A low bleed rate. And that's surprised because I hit a vital organ. So she literally shouldn't be very far. She's trotting now. That's because she's really hurt. I wonder if I got off course here. Maybe not. Let's just walk up here a little bit further. I'm not seeing any blood spots, so I'm thinking that maybe this was from a previous encounter. Oh, wait. Can we get a shot off on one of these guys? Talk about a consolation prize for the day. saw one deer walk up into the woods over here. Oh, there's still one right here. I can't see it well enough to really get, to really know where its frame is. Stop moving. Oh, forgot to reload. <laughs> I 
Okay, we'll check that and see if we got that deer in good shape. For now, we're going to go over here and see if we can track that moose. Hopefully that other deer fell. I mean, we were following tracks for the moose before, but I think that those were probably tracks from when it was inbound or maybe moving around over there a little bit. Oh, yeah. Is that blood? This is moose on the run, so yeah, this is going to be her bleed rate low. I'm actually surprised with that big blood spot that we got there in the beginning that that did not drop her right there or a lot sooner. But she should be right around here somewhere. She shouldn't have been able to go very far. Yeah, we're still getting the bleed rate. Still running up here. Yep, there she is. I see her. Nice. That's a consolation prize. Looks like we got our left lung. Not a it's not a score, it's just a trivial one. But it's it's money in our pocket. We're not gonna save the harvester. I mean, yeah, we're not gonna taxidermy it or anything. And now we're just gonna go down here real quick. Before we end this episode, we gotta go down here and check and see if we got the deer. And if we didn't get that deer. I think we did. I think we, we I know we definitely hit it, but whether we got a good kill shot on it or not, I'm not sure. I think it was in the middle of this brush. I hit it right point blank in the... I mean, not point blank, but I hit it right in the chest. So I'm hoping that we got a heart shot on it. Let's see, I feel like it was standing right here somewhere. Ooh. I don't know if we... It says no organs hit. I don't know if we got a good hit on it or not. This is an eating zone though, so that's good to know. Okay, we're gonna track these. Hopefully that was still enough to drop that. Oh, it's collectible. Look at that. Even better. You found a shed. We got a I've already one. got a big enough collection back home, so I've started selling any new ones I find. People often buy them for handicrafts, you know. Knife handles and such. I once sold a really nice moose antler for 500 bucks. Well, we're still chasing this buck. Oh, there he is. It's going to be a small buck. It, you know, it might not be too bad. Trivial. It's a bronze, so we got, we're if getting decent money from it. If you want to on the road, I'd keep a lookout for sheds. You know, antlers that are shed by the reserve animals? They're rare to find, and very popular to collect. So it was only a flesh wound. We didn't get the heart on that one. It was in the right direction, but it should have been probably a little bit lower, a little bit more center mass. It's good XP. We did get a perk point. Let me see. Perks. Uh, I'm going to do rifle, I think. Unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving aim mode. That would have helped us right there. I would have had probably two deer that I would have hit instead of that one. So we got to go back to this campsite up here. We got to follow those tracks real quick to finish up this hope mission. And then we should be good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely human. Looks like a troublemaker then. Now, I don't want you to go pick in any fights, but maybe you could follow them and see where they lead. They lead over to here. We are already at the end. Some ripped clothing. And no more tracks, huh? Well, just leave it for now, and I'll see what I can come up with. This will help, though. Thanks. There. Now. Looks like we got a couple of new miss missions here. To start off. 
So the main story missions are the ones with these little orange icons, and that's a travel to Lake Chila, harvest a whitetail or a blacktail deer at night. So that's our next main story mission, so we are going to probably work on that one next. Three put footprints from three black tail deer. That one's going to be fairly easy. We can probably double up on those. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me here on episode two of The Hunter, Call of the Wild, music's on cue. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you like the style of this episode a little bit more. Uh, I kind of did it like you would watch like a TV show for hunting. If you haven't, check out Meat Eater on Netflix. They got three seasons on there, I believe. There's other ones, I believe, on YouTube. Don't quote me on that, but it is kind of an interesting show if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, I know that I am binge-watching it like crazy, so if you guys enjoy this kind of thing, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest content, and we will see you guys next time right here on the APN Gaming YouTube channel.